Hi, Amanda Armstrong, and welcome to the Backfist Show. And again, more pens, more pens, more pens, more pens. All the pens, all the bloody pens. No, we're not talking about frictions. We're not talking about fountain pens. We're not even talking about uniballs. Today, we're talking about the legendary and humble, the very humble Bic. Now, if you were young, you had a Bic somewhat similar to this, but they've definitely changed it up. It's a definitely a whole different beast. We're not going to get into the whole reading how a pen works because, frankly, if you can't figure out how to work your pen or uh, you know change the refills, I think you you got other problems. But you know, let's let's see if I'm going to have problems with this. They've changed the style slightly. It's it's kind of more ergonomic. It's definitely way more ergonomic. Look at that. It's quite nice, and uh, it's, you're not really accidentally going to be you know not going to be as accidentally going to be able to accidentally. Gosh, learn to speak. Um, activate the pen like you used to. Remember these used to really stick out. In fact, they're a little bit more like the uh, uniball, to be honest with you. These are these look like you hit them all the time, whereas those, you got to work for them. But in terms of the style, very similar, right? You can see where Bic's going. They're definitely after the same market. So this is the three plus one, and this is the four plus one. So you're only losing one color, really. The one color you probably don't use, like green. So you got the black, the red, the blue, and I think this is the lead. And I'm going to pop the lid off here just to see. Nope, it's just like the jet stream where the ink mechanism must be elsewhere. When I say ink, I obviously mean lead. And that's the pen sticking down, the pencil. Have a look. I've engaged pencil mode, but I'm not quite sure how you... Probably pushing the end. Yes, look, see, it's pushing the clutch down. Got yourself some pencilness going on. And the pencils seem to be 0.7 which is marvellous I mean this is good let's see this is double the thickness of the um, jet stream yeah definitely 0.7 mil is a really nice um, thickness to have there I can't get over that how good that is right we're gonna go for the blue the blue in the one millimeter ah Spelt it wrong. It's it's interesting actually. It feels like it's got quite a large diameter around the sort of grippy bit, the grappy grippy bit. Um, although looking at these, it doesn't really have it. It's just it's just because it's just a sort of. I guess it's got this rubbery transition, this plastic transition. If you hold it further up the shaft, you might get a better feel for it. Let's try that again. Yes. I'm trying to hold it right at the tip, but yeah, if I just shift it up slightly, my grip, it's much better. So that looks suspiciously like how you'd open it up, and indeed it is. And very similar mechanism to the jet stream, but you know, its own unique one. So putting the leads in, I'm guessing it's either going to be one or two ways. It's either going to be from the end, if it wants to go, which it doesn't really. Nope. Maybe splitting it somewhere here. Yes, okay. Just split it right there in the middle. The other pens, though, normally these used to refill from pulling them out, so. Yeah. So there you go, you can just refill those as per usual. And this was quite a reasonable, I think it was about £3. So it's half the price of the Uniball. So, you know. You I don't know what you're sort of paying for with you get the Uniball. I um, I have ordered more of these and I have ordered them in the thicker um, diameter ball. So be interesting to see how that uh, pans out really. I kind of, I'm sitting on the fence now. You got both of these, but I think the Friction are really cool. Um, so I might just have a massive pot of all of these different types of pen for all my different scenarios. Maybe I'll have to figure out what to do with these pens. But yeah, in the meantime, that's my uh, review of the Bic. Four colours. I think it's pretty good. Comes with the 12 LEDs, everything, the whole lot. And I think it was like, I don't know, three quid for the whole pack, including the refills. You cannot go wrong. That was in Ryman's and they got some offer on. But, you know, even if it was double that, it's still going to last you ages, isn't it, for the money? So, yeah, enjoy that. Comment down below. Do you remember the old ones of these? I would really like to hear if you were a youth like me and you uh, uh, had one of these. Now something I noticed my kids uh, had, they had uh, one of these which had like sort of 10 
It was like a big one and it was like a Star Wars one. It was massively thick, but it had 10 of these. Really cheap though, it was like a pound in Poundland. Bonkers, isn't it? Absolutely bonkers. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching and keep on penning. <laughs>